What's up, YouTube? Defiant Glade here, back again. By the way, breaking the fourth wall. Merry Christmas. That's right. If I did everything right, this video should be going up on Christmas Day. Yeah, hopefully. Christmas Day, my Christmas gift to you. So, uh, if you guys are excited for, uh, for the holidays, for a holiday episode of uh, Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke, version 2.0. Make sure you annihilate that like button down below. Make sure you favorite, comment, subscribe, everything. Tell everyone that we're back. And uh, if you guys missed out on the last episode, definitely go check it out. And um, we are do we did a Choose Your Starter episode last time. You guys voted. The votes are in! And I gotta say, I didn't expect it to be like that. Um, the cho choices were Machamp. And I tried doing a little thing where Machamp, I, I said Machamp, and then like in, in the picture here, Machamp or whatever. Um, let me know how you guys like that. It's in, in iMovie, I'm kind of limited with, uh, you know, what's the word, with, with, you know, how I can put images on, whatever, but yeah, did the best I could. Machamp, Mantike, and Snubble. You guys actually picked Snubble, and I'm kind of glad about that because compared to Machamp, Machamp is good. But because he's evolved, but he can't handle ghost types yet, not until he gets foresight. He might have a level five, but I don't know. Um, but even then, you have to take a take up a turn to expose the ghost types, and then you can handle the ghost types. With Snubble, just bite, done, and levels up real quick, evolves real fast, which is great. Snubble, or not not Snubble, Mantike would have been horrifying. I actually, uh, you know. Just for fun, did a little, you know, off the channel uh, soling in Platinum with Zuzu-chan. And I had a Mantike, and that's not fun. Because Mantike will never evolve, unless you get lucky and get a, re a Remory. So, anyway, we got we got Snubble. Then I choose you. I'm picking this one. Actually, another little thing, if you guys remember, in um, the very first time we ever tried this out, um, I clicked on the randomizer for the rival to keep their starter throughout the game. And it screws it up. It makes the rival pick the same starter I picked. Hence, uh, in the original one, he had a Palkia. So did I. And I made it really difficult. Um, so it's similar strength, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be whatever he would normally have picked. So yeah, we'll see. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon. It seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. Oh, he's not shouting anymore. In that regard, they're much like you. As a fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sanjim Town. And now we'll be on our way. Professor, like, wait! Bye, I'm sorry, let me go, move you stupid douchebag, bye! Okay. Well, how do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Hey, Defiant, we both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? No. What's with that at? Dude, please don't be that way. Hey, we both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? <sighs> Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Quatsu. I've always wanted to say it's time to finally come. Defiant, I challenge you to a battle. Okay, bro. Hydration break. <sighs> Is that what. Let's see. It's it goes Turtwig, Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, right? So did it just not randomize for him, or he just similar strength to a Turtwig and just said screw it, whatever Turtwig. Platinum doesn't randomize very well. In case you guys didn't <laughs> didn't already notice. Okay, so I'm just gonna yo it has Charm. That's kind of loud already. I'm just gonna Charm up real quick. And the thing is, the Nuzlocke has not started. That's another thing. Um, trying to get back in the swing of things here. Uh, the Nuzlocke has not... Uh, doing this garbage. The Nuzlocke has not started yet. So, because we have not received Pokeballs yet. Um, because it's not fair to enforce, you know, one rule and not be able to enforce the other. So, you know, like, if our Snubble, you know, faints for some reason, we can't say that it's dead because we aren't able to catch Pokemon yet. So... You guys understand that rule, but um, generally that's 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 how it goes. So, but uh, I don't think that's gonna be a problem because 
Let's face it, he's got a Turtwig. Turtwig is kind of doodle -doo butter, he's just being annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna speed this up because he's just sitting here withdrawing all day. Yeah, see his tackles aren't doing anything. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna try to minimize speed up, even though this gen actually is one of the gens that you need to use speed up for the most because it's such a slow paced game. And oh, by the way, um the dishwasher, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it on here, but it's kinda loud. Anyway. Whew, let's go home. I'm beat at that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. See ya, bye. Deuces. What's for dinner, Mom? What's for din What's for dinner? Oh, no dinner. Just watching dishes. What's the matter, dear? Hmm. Well, that's what happened to you. You and Quats were lucky to have met Prof Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I would like to think that the wild Pokemon would might have. I am all kinds of dyslexia right now. Anyway. Defiant, go see Prof. Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sand Gym Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. I mean, unless there's freaking running shoes. Unless there happens to be a Mewtwo in the grass, then it might be a little threatening. Sand Gym Town's adventure, right? With those running shoes, you can go far away places much faster. Okay, let me... There's instruction manuals with a pair of shoes. Go figure. Anyway, we know how to run. We know how to run. Mmm, my goodness. Game's got a lot, lot faster paced. Too slow, defiant, I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Prof. Brown, so I think Prof. Yo, like, what if we were playing this in the morning? We get out there and he's just there with like 15 cups of coffee just like lying on the ground all around him, you know, like, like Kansas soda or something. Like he had been, it's like 8 a.m. when we get there and he had been there since 2 or something. My dude. <laughs> no chill. He never sleeps. That I see that. So I had this great idea. This nipple, okay? You know, like where we always play at? You know, they say this legendary Pokemon lives there? You catch this, catch that Pokemon. It'll make Prof. Rowan happy. I'm sure of that. Oh, it'll make me really happy to get a legendary. Me and you together, we got nothing to fear. I uh, See, it, it's been so long since I've uh, played this game. I'm hoping that my commentary isn't all exactly the same as way back then. I don't even remember. Yeah, let's see. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here, even the sights are on the sign. Okay. Ooh, what voice should I give this guy? What's going on? If any of you guys have like a request of like a specific voice, I'm I'm kind of. I like to think I'm pretty pretty good at doing you know impressions. So if you if anyone has any requests, be sure to leave that in the comments down below. You know what? That's a question of the day. Eh, you know. Favorite anime voice. There you go. Question of the day. Favorite voice. Any voice from any anime, any character, whatever you think. Um, whether it's subs or dubs. Some people like the Japanese voices. I don't know. Yeah. Share that for you in the description down below. I'm kind of feeling this guy. Yo, let's do... Let's do... Let's do Lissandre. The way Nappy does Lizandre, I kind of like that. The flowing time. The expanding space. Oh no! No, that feels like Mephilus from Sonic 06. I know everyone hates on Sonic 06 all the time, but I got... It, the story, it's great. I mean, I'm one of the few people out there that will say the story is well worth all the crap that you gotta put up with for the crappy game, but yeah. Mephilus, I'm gonna do that voice. If you guys don't know who Mephilus is, definitely do a quick Google search. You'll be like, he's, he's pretty cool. The flowing time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. The legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. <clears throat> Allow me to pass. Step aside. Dude. Deuces, bro. What was that about, weird guy? Okay, to find this catch the legendary Pokemon. Mesprit! I like Mesprit. I really do. Did you hear that, Defiant? That was the legendary Pokemon. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance to catch it. Oh, wait, crap. I forgot my crack pipe. What? We have anything on us? You know, Pokeballs. P. O. K. Lightning Bolt. Balls. No, anyway. <laughs> 
If we don't have those, we can't catch the Pokemon and take them around with us. Do you think Puff Bone give us some fiasco? You know, remember what he said, don't you? Head visions, that if we need anything. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go. If for the last one, there's Rotten Smeller. Okay. Now, cool thing is, we ha our lock hasn't started yet, so we can actually go see what Pokemon are in here. We don't have to catch anything in here because we don't have the balls yet. So, let's see. Ooh. We passed up a fighting type. Could potentially get a fighting type, but guess what else? Polyrath, I happen to remember, gets submission at level 1. In fact, <laughs> let's see. Does he have submission? Ooh. Bubble Beam could hurt. Do I have a potion? You know, P-O-T-I-O-N. Uh, I don't think we can run from this thing. Yeah, yeah, submission. Watch him one-shot us. Okay, so if Snubble faints, he's probably gonna faint right now. Snubble's probably gonna faint right now when I run, because Polyrath outspeeds. I don't have any Pokeballs, so the lock isn't over yet. It has run away! Oh, I forgot to even look at our starter. <laughs> Poor Snubble's all jacked up. Naughty. Naughty the Snubble. The Naughty Snubble. I gotta think of a name for the Snubble. You know, it's female. Okay, I think I know. I think I got something. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing I've done in uh, other games, other playthroughs. Hang on. Um, I'm gonna same thing, do the same thing I did in other playthroughs. He's got a sturdy body. Okay, she, she has a sturdy body. Um, anyone has any nickname suggestions, whether you want me to name a Pokemon after you, or you just got a name you really like, let me know in the description, in the comments down below. Let me know. And I will, I love getting nickname requests. I will absolutely use any and all nickname requests that I get. Even if it's a, something like, as long as it's not a nickname, as long as it's not a Pokemon that someone else has already given me a name for, um, if someone else gave me a name for it, well then, sorry, that's the name that I'm using. But if it's a name that I gave to a Pokemon, you know, and you got a better name, let me know. Let me know, I'll go back and I'll rename it. I don't care, I'll rename it. Because I want to use your guys' uh, uh, suggestions. I like, uh, you know, encouraging... Uh, in but there's Entei's here. There's Entei's in the grass. <laughs> this is going to be sweet. I, I don't have Pokeballs, so this doesn't count as my encounter. It doesn't matter. I can just body it right now and just see. I mean, it's probably going to body me, though. Unless I use Runaway. <laughs> I, that's just so great. Normally, I wouldn't be able to run, and my Snubble would just be dying. But... I, I need to level up my Snubble a little bit before I even try to catch Pokemon. The lock could very well be over immediately. I'm just gonna charm it. Oh, near, okay. Okay, I'm just speeding this up, like, because this is just grinding, basically. Good. Gain us uh, one, maybe two levels. Ooh, almost two levels. Uh, I'm gonna go back and heal real quick. I, I'm sorry, I don't want this episode to just be all grinding. That's why I'm speeding this part up, because you guys don't need to just sit here and watch me grind. But how amazing would that be if we get an Entei or a Polyrath? Holy crap. That would be sweet. Could you imagine if Fairy type was in this game? I'd be resisting those bites. Oh my god, come on, stop flinching me out. Don't, don't, okay, good. Uh, ooh, there we go, there we go. What is a ghost type? Come here, ghost types. Alright, alright, there we go. Of course, because of stab, tackle, fun fact, is just as strong as bite. I, unless is it 30 in this gen? Is it still 30 in this, it's 35, okay, never mind, never mind. Bite is only a little bit stronger than tackle because of stab. Which still makes bite stronger, so, hey, there. Um, okay, so I'm just being... Ooh, ooh, I hope we don't get a Metapod. I'll just, I'll just bite this thing real quick. I don't... You know, I want to say there's... If I remember right, I want to say there's an item hidden around here somewhere. And I actually randomized the items, too. Just like last time. You guys are learning. This is kind of also like a walkthrough, sort of, you could say. Oh, there we go. Lychee Berry. That's a nice and rare berry, actually, if I remember. Yeah, 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 that's a rare berry. That's a really rare berry. 
I will take it. Nice and rare berries. Oh, yeah, question of the day, what we were talking about. Okay, so uh, my favorite anime voice actor, voice actress, actually, has always been Sheremy Lee. If you guys... God, that dishwasher's really loud. I hope <laughs> I hope I'm not muffled. Um... Uh, I don't know how many I don't know how many guys out there uh, are you know big anime fans, but Sheremy Lee she's always been my favorite voice actress. She does uh, voices for characters like Lucy Hartfilia from uh, Fairy Tail. Um, she also does Gage the Necromancer from Borderlands 2. Um, many other voices. She even does. Uh, does she do a little? What I forget. I think she, yeah she did a little bit of Medusa as well. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get one more level. In fairy tale, anyway. Oh, dude, if I could get that Entei, that would be sweet. Entei learns uh, roar at like level 11 or some crazy crap. Okay, so that's all the grinding I'm gonna do for right now. Um. Oh, there you are. We're coming, me. Professor's waiting. This is in our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Oh, I kind of give her the wrong words. Fun! Seriously, Quatsu, stop screaming thud at people when you when you hit them. <laughs> what the? I want you to find... Okay, there's the... The dishwasher's done. Thank you, dishwasher. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he's totally out there. Ah, it doesn't matter to find... See ya, bye! <laughs> okay, okay, bro. Like, wow, what was that? Like, your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Oh, he left a little trail of powder behind him because he's... Kind of crackhead. Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, well, look who's here. Defiance, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Well, well, you've made your Pokemon a... No, I haven't. Snubble is... What? Okay. <laughs> okay, it, Snubble's not evolved. I'm sorry. Hmm. Interesting what that Snubble was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? It's a naughty female Snubble, so... Here's where we get to name it. Naughty. With two eyes. So that you know. <laughs> Is naughty. And you're happy with the nickname? When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children, but now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Okay, you know, I, I hope you guys don't mind. We've already seen this story. I'm going to just hurry up and speed through because I really want to see if I can catch that intake. <laughs> okay, uh, and basically he, he asks me if I can collect Pokemon for the Pokedex for him, and he'll give me the Pokedex. Okay, and tells me what a Pokedex is. It records every Pokemon that I, that I encounter. And now she is going to give me Pokeballs. And, uh, she chose Chimchar, but no, it doesn't matter, da-da-da, and she can teach you things later, whatever. Okay. And, oh, and he gives me the team for a return, which every Pokemon can learn, by the way. <clears throat> Let me turn it down a little bit. And she is going to show us how to Pokemon, since we clearly don't know how to Pokemon. So, um, we're just going to kind of let her do whatever. Uh, but yeah, Jeremy Lee, she's also Patty from Soul Eater. Um, and it's, it's... Yeah, yeah, she's also Patty from Solier. And, uh, God, I I met her. She's a real nice person. Um, I actually got her autograph once, and let me just go heal her real quick. Um, she's just great. She's great. Um, yeah, don't really know what else to say. Um, yeah, so, uh, you guys let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, who, who is your favorite voice actor or actress if you got one? You know. Um, wait, no, I don't want 10 potions. I want... Should I get 17 po I'm gonna get... I kind of want to get 15 Pokeballs, but I need to get potions, too. I gotta be smart. And, oh, Premier Ball. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we get 10 potions. All right. Spending all our money. But we need to hurry up and go down here. Oh, and I think there's an item down here, too. Yes, item down here. What do we got? Green scarf, nice, and beauty points. Okay. Itchy. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, and we can get an encounter down there, too. Um, okay. 
yeah, let us know in the comment section down below. What is your favorite uh, voice? Voice actor, voice actress, could be from an anime, could be from a video game too. Yeah, um, whatever, sub, dub, anything, let us know. Alright, first encounter is, wait, what is this, 101? Oh. Yes, it's the Entei. It's level 2. Hopefully a tackle's not going to kill it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to charm it. Oh, that didn't do anything. Tackle is, let me just look and see, tackle's base 35, but stab. So it brings it up to, like, just shy of 60. This one is 60, so bite is stronger. So it should hopefully live a tackle. It's a crit. Of course, that's a great way to start this off. Crit. I did all that for nothing. It's a crit. All right, well, I'm going to go back. I'm going to make a note. Uh, get later. The lake encounter up there, I don't really want to try to go get it now because we have received poke. Yeah, we have received Pokeballs. So the Nuzlocke has started. So... I'm not, I'm not really interested in going fighting a Poliwrath right now and just getting submissioned absolutely in the next week. So, um, and just a quick explanation while they teach us how to catch Pokemon. Um, the reason for what just happened down there, um, in a Nuzlocke, for anyone that maybe doesn't, wait. Oh, I gotta go talk to my mom. For anyone that doesn't know, um, when you do a Nuzlocke, you can only, you're only allowed to catch whatever the first Pokemon is that appears at every route. So that, for us, that Entei was our only thing we can catch in that first round. Can't catch anything else, because even though we failed to catch that one. So, yeah. Kind of stinks, but hey, it is what it is, and we'll just, we'll just rock out with it. Oh my god. Uh, and I'm, I'm sorry I'm speeding up through this. I just kind of really want to just get as much done as I can. I kind of feel like it was a bit of a waste of time. Because we created that... I kind of, I kind of, I think after this, I'm going to do damage calcs to see, maybe, if it would, unless I get a level 2 Entei right here. So a level 3 Entei, let's see, would it li would it have lived to tackle? Level 3 did that much to it, so level 2 would have gotten it into the red. Yep. It should have easily lived to tackle. That's so annoying. Uh, if it wasn't a crit, of course it was a crit. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's let's just let's just get over here while she tells us that. Uh, let's let's see, let's see. I think another. Oh, catching the tour is randomized. Another one of my favorite Pokemon. I would er, not Pokemon. Favorite voice actors. I would say uh, have to be uh, J. Michael Tatum. Tatum. J. Michael Tatum. J. Michael Tatum. That's how you say it. He's really cool. I I met him as well. Um, I go to anime conventions. I've met him as well, and uh, he's he's real cool. Fun fact: uh, Suzu Chan. We actually, her and I, were walking down uh, down the street once at an anime convention. We passed right by him, and I turned. And I was like, "Wait, that's him!" As he was like super far away out of earshot, I, I pointed at her and like, "That's J. Michael Tatum, J. Michael Tatum." And she got on Twitter and tweeted out immediately, "Hey, J. Michael Tatum, we just passed." passed him by, you know, here at, at this area, um, at the convention, and, you know, wow, small world, and he actually got on, he liked it, and I think retweeted it, which is crazy, so, uh, what route is this? Uh, route 202, our encounter at route 202 is a nice and powerful ladybug, okay, so, um, I named, uh, I named this Snubble Naughty, so, you know, if you guys... If anyone has a better name, go ahead and let me know, and I'll use it. Uh, if anyone has a name for this ladybug, let me know, I'll just use it. So, uh, it's a ladybug, we caught it, so. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> ladybug's here, and I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna go... <laughs> hey, hey, actually, it, it might be able to take on that polyrath. Maybe because he can't use submission on it. Uh, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna name it Betty Boop. I don't know why. It it just kind of speaks to me. Betty Boop. Wait, not Boop. Betty Boop. I don't know. 
I don't know. It, ladybug, Betty Bug. I, I don't know. Hey, you got a good item for me? An X accuracy. Those aren't bad. Those are actually pretty useful. <sighs> well, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm ready to get that lake encounter right now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just so nervous. Um, because he could easily just wipe us out in one hit with, uh, he could wipe out our snubble in one hit with, um, because we don't have Intimidate. If we had Intimidate, I might think of going for it, but we don't. So he could just absolutely blow us the hell away with Submission in one hit. Or he could blow our little Ladybug back in one hit with Bubble Beam. So, I don't know. Um, I'll save that for later. Um, uh... I guess, I, I guess I'll have to do a little bit of grinding later. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll figure it out. If I'm going to do grinding, I'll do grinding. But I'm just going to end that episode there. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having a happy holidays. Um, wait, you know what? No, this is a Christmas episode. So, you know, question of the day can be... I'll, I'll, lay it, I'll load it up either or. Either your favorite voice actor or what would you get for Christmas? The obvious thing, doi. Okay, yeah, what'd you get for Christmas or your favorite voice actor? Either way, I don't know. You guys have a happy holidays, and I will see you guys in the next episode. You guys, you guys are great. I love you guys. I'm gonna get up out of here. This is Defiant Glade, signing out.